I've been developing and creating content on Canva for some years now and recently uh, I hit uh, 200, uh, uh, 200 designs and that's something to reckon because I think I was among the I'm among top 25 percent of creators and Canva has actually grown since its launch in 2013 uh, having been started actually way back in 2009 as an age as fusion books so uh, the goal of this video is to get our developers started on creating and uh, applications for canva and this is now made possible through last year's canva this last year when they had a canva extend and that's basically extending functionality at developers canva has been having applications and um, Inside the, inside the design editor and uh, basically these are partners or organizations they reach out to, to actually add functionality but now they're extending this to actually allow developers and how tap into the 185 million plus creators of ecosystem so um, uh, in this video I'm just going to show you how uh, what expect as a developer and all the tools and all the things uh, the necessities the, um, the problems are out there that people are actually facing with for Canva that have been using Canva for some time because one of the reasons why I use Canva is because of its simplicity I've been using I tried using other things and require a lot of technology uh, technical um, uh, technical considerations but also uh, learning curves and all those other things so this video let me just get you started how you can actually create a developer profile or how you can actually get started I already logged into my account and you can see here this is the URL and this is a landing page uh, for developers so you just have to create an account on Canva and directly connect to the developers portal so uh, the team at Canva, the developer team, is actually still designing and actually uh, uh, making this uh, a very, very rich documentation for developers to actually create content, but also create applications. And uh, what are apps on? Um, what are apps basically on? Uh, you may want other apps on Canva because Canva itself is already an application hosted. It's a SaaS. I would call it a SaaS. Uh, let me just take you back to to what applications uh, I have apps here. So, for example, these are apps that have been created over time, and these apps will allow you to add some other functionality um, in the design editor. So, basically, you have a design editor. And uh, let's say, uh, for example, we have AI powered productivity, uh, design essentials, uh, marketing, and all these other tools. So, we have all these applications that are out there that you can actually leverage when you're designing your. Um, when you're designing your your content or your designs so let's for example mimic one I've been having I've been developing and creating content so let me just show you how what quickly that this means so if for example I have this um, open in my design editor this is a certificate I received for the 200 designs uh, recently so and here on your left panel you will see apps so when you click on apps when you click on apps you can discover apps that are actually available in the marketplace so that's basically the apps marketplace and uh, these are different from designs or creators what they have, uh, they have done for example like the templates these are adding more functionality the designs are basically uh, for the creators that have just done and uh, just trying to you can just edit but these ones are real applications and they actually reside in uh, an iframe and they're all javascript files and i think it's usually typescript if i'm not mistaken and uh, because i'm also getting started but i'm glad that this is actually rolling out and um in a couple of weeks i'll be taking you through how you can actually get started as a canva developer and um, see how we can journey together so uh, for example if I click on for AI created you can actually generate images QR codes uh, you can have presentation presenters where are actually AI and uh, you can draw you can create all these amazing amazing things for example text-to-speech uh, just give it text and it gives you the speech and all those other things for example I've been using voiceover and AI image gen uh, to basically uh, add functionality into my designs because for example if I click on voiceover here it's an application so this resides in an iframe 
and this iframe is made so possible because they, I think they designed something called uh, App UI Kit, something like that, and uh, basically an iframe of JavaScript files. So here you can be able to type in the the type of the, for example, the audio you want, then you choose, and then that's it. So it's really quite easy to actually create uh, applications, as you can see, because they're automatically embedded within the design editor. So uh, yeah, that's it on the design app. Let me just take you back briefly to the developer landing page. So they have two, um, two ways you can actually um, get started as a Canva developer and that is the apps SDK, the software development kit. And this is rich because uh, it it's more uh, of it's more it's more like a whole a home version whereby you install the necessary resources uh, they have a starter uh, UI kit uh, basically the repo is available and this is what we shall actually be seeing in the next video how you can actually uh, get started in the next couple of videos and these are the things that you can actually do you can create assets um, basically uploading assets you can design uh, then you can fetch you can also authenticate users and then you can actually export programmatically so this is actually an sdk version but uh, if you're interested in something that you want to add integra integrations to other existing applications maybe that's when connect apis come through so they have two versions the sdk version and the connect apis so the connect apis allow you to actually connect to existing applications and you can also do auto field design you can upload assets uh, programmatically uh, into that system. It could be a CRM, CMS, a ERP, whatever it is it's trying to come up with. Uh, comments, but also can do exports programmatically without being uh, on the Canva. So, and this is nice because uh, I think. I don't know i think i like the idea that actually can now um, build uh, things programmatically uh, because most um, content creators um, would love to actually achieve this but there's, there's a lot of couple of issues that uh, people have been experiencing i'll take you through uh, that shortly and um as you can see, uh, there's a 50 million innovation fund for people who have actually created applications on the put on the developers page. For example, if you have an app which has been accepted uh, in the in the in the heart, if you have an application that has been accepted in the marketplace and it has been there, I think, for 12 months and you have some uh, traction and you can actually apply for this this is basically for mostly i watched the the extend uh, event and it was basically about uh, people who are actually and who are underrepresented in the tech space usually and they can apply for this fund and actually get to utilize the resources and this is good because you cannot you build at the same time you're making money so this is going to be another way of actually making passive money for developers and to top in the 185 million developers uh that actually 185 million are creators that actually these days have and you, this is for example what you can see for example this is the presenters that we saw earlier in the um, marketplace they used authentication uh, assets and design just then the code format they use design as you can see uh, this is the qr codes dynamic qr codes you can gather statistics and everything and they're using uh, authentication and uh, design apis so yeah you can actually explore already explored that and um that is something really and they have a frequent last question i think we already talked about most of these and um you can actually preview on your end it's really quite easy and um the next videos we shall focus on this and how you can actually get started as a developer you don't have to do javascript uh to actually get started because these days it's actually even easy you can see how the documentation is rich you have apps sdk connect apis and this i think this is something i wanted also to talk about it is um it's a system for cross-domain identity management so it basically for allows you to automate provisioning for the canva user accounts and uh, this can also be uh, come in hand i think this is extensively being developed as it wasn't listed as something back and yeah so if you want to start for example what you're you trying wondering what can you solve for what application can you design and all those other things and 
uh, buckle up. I'm just going to give you a few tips, a few websites, a few links that you can actually leverage to see what issues people have been having. And one is the the fixer problem, like the frequently asked questions, but also what you can actually fix because these ones are usually designed from what people have actually asked over time, over time. So you can read through these. I'll leave the link in the description. Then you can actually get to know what actually uh, to design or what actually create. For example, um, this one is having I'm having Canva print order issues. And my printer design looks blurry or pixelated. So there's a lot. Uh, Canva has actually around three plans, I think. More plans, I think they are Canva Pro, Canva Teams. I think there is even Canva for Campus. There's a lot of uh, uh, Canva, Canva pricing plans that you could actually leverage. I've used the uh, paid versions and the Pro version, uh, the Teams version also. Uh, quite for some time and currently i think i'm on a free version and yeah there's also have a there's also have a program called um a canvasada but before you take you through that this is a reddit post here that someone just said in the canva uh, channel and said uh, drop your canva problems or try to solve it so you could also leverage this i uh, just look through um uh, what people are actually experiencing and then i uh, get to have insights on what actually to build because it's good to solve for a real a problem if you're going to make money out of Canva. And uh, let me just uh, briefly talk about uh, Canvasada. Uh, Canvasada is basically Canva. Uh, let me see, it is Canva. Canvasada. So basically, it's Canva. Um, Canva ambassadors, and these are people actually uh, who are simplifying complex stacks basically. Um, these are people in the community that have been distinguished and have knowledge about Canva and have done designs or created stuff around Canva and uh, they're actually publicly available in the community page I think if you go to the community page of, uh, of Canva you can actually see all these uh, uh, all these uh, conversators so uh, if actually the application is still on I think it's on a rolling basis it has no deadline and uh, you can actually apply if you've already been creating some content I am not one of them but uh, maybe the time I will apply and uh, that's it for this video if you do like and you found this helpful please subscribe and I think they also created an uh, um, an event uh, they have post a hackathon basically uh, actually stimulate this entire let me just open it up here uh, there's a canva ai and integrations hackathon that's actually running and there's a 50,000 uh, prize pool and so far we am seeing other uh, 13, 1300 uh, participants and the rules are quite simple and you could actually uh, get started maybe on how you can actually uh, develop uh, and this i think is the first hackathon if i'm not mistaken and you can see there's a lot of uh, rules but it's just basically boils down to these two and um, and you can as you can see there are quite a little uh, i think there's a lot of money to be won here around eight people i think are going to win as you can see here each praise do, 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 do and yeah so get started maybe this could be something that you could also try out personally i love hackathons maybe i could also um try this out and yeah uh, that's it for this video and um if you like it once again please subscribe uh, for more content about uh, uh that is related to this thank you so much see you in the next video